Good morning from Cartagena, which is on the Caribbean coast. So you know what that means. Nice beaches and crystal blue waters, hopefully. But we'll find out today because we're gonna go snorkeling. And when I say we, I'm meeting up with someone that I met in, Car in Medellin. We were originally booked on to go snorkeling today, but the guy cancelled on us last night. So right now we have to try and find another way of getting to the islands so we can go snorkeling. Yo, what's going on? Find you. Finally we are here. I know. So this is Bachi. We met in Medellin. He's French. And uh, we're gonna go try and find a boat to go to Rosario. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We got our tickets, they cost us 120,000 and that only takes us to one of the islands, it gets us food too. We've definitely been ripped off a little bit, uh, we think maybe they, it should have been cheaper, but you know, that's <laughs> what happens. See. Yeah, that's what happens when you pay on the day. <laughs> Baru and you can see hooks and amazing beach. <laughs> Just so hooks all the way along the super tourist. We're staying on the boat though because we're gonna go to Rosario. We've been going around the Rosario Islands because it's a plastic island. Pause. Oh, let me just let me just get in there and show you something right i've been working on something for a couple of months now and i'm finally ready to share it with you so you know i've been doing content creation for about two years now and i've never had a way to support myself doing it well finally i came up with the idea in the form of a cloven brand the cloven has the mantra keep exploring on because it's something that i've been trying to live by for the last few years making sure that i'm living life to the fullest and something that i hope to inspire you as watchers to do too. Now, this is the short sleeve version inspired by Columbia with the Columbia colors, but I've also got it in, in long sleeve too, in this nice khaki green long sleeve top, which is very comfortable and it's very nice. I think this is probably one of my favorites. I've also got other items such as sweaters, which come with a nice little design on. You got a little world globe here. And I don't know, this just looks kind of cool. I wanted something a little bit different and I've also got hoodies that have a nice little logo on them uh, like the caps which also have the logo on the top here are the caps you've got them in different colors you've got the silver logo the pink logo and the yellow logo I think my preferred color is the yellow logo but I don't know tell me what yours is now the majority of this clothing is either organic or recycled materials so it's eco-friendly and also 25% of all profits will go to a charitable cause. If you want to help me out, help my content creation and get some cool merch, then make sure you head over to the website, explorelife.co.uk and there you can see everything. Now, let's get back to Colombia. Now we're on our way to do some snorkeling, finally. What we've been waiting for. But just look at this water, it's so clear. <laughs> and it's such a nice color, nice turquoise color. I'm excited to do some snorkeling and get in that water because it's really warm. Right, we're ready. Right now, we are ready to go. No, finally. Finally. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> There's the lad. It's not even the only car we have left. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on. I gotta show you. Let's see. Let's see the car over. <laughs> You've been damaging. Uh, I show you how you broke the coral, and you don't broke it, it's already broke. <laughs> Most of the coral though I think was actually like in bad shape, it looked really dark and it was dead and it was brittle so there was a lot of fish still living there but it didn't look very alive. But you know it was fun, we had fun snorkeling, we saw a lot of salt water, my mouth tastes horrible. Oh, oh Brad, I'm getting sick from it. And now we're gonna head back to Baru and get some food. This is Becker Ashford and he uh, wanted no. to be in the video. So yeah, say hi. Hey, hola. Where are you from? I'm from India. Where about? You are from? I'm, I'm from England. Oh, wow. Yeah, from Liverpool. I wanna go there, man. Yeah, have you never been? Yeah, no, no. No, it's good, yeah, it's good. I'm Your, go. Europe's yeah. better, but yes, you know, it's good to visit. <laughs> but it was a... Uh, But he's brought a friend, Manu. They're both French, so I should start trying to speak French. <laughs> they don't they don't understand my English. Uh, and we're at the castle. Um, San Felipe Castle in Cartagena. We're gonna explore and show you some of the sights that we can see from the top. Baptiste is like, you can't even see me, it's so dark. Baptiste is like six foot five. So he's having to duck down. Oh, it's so hard to see. Can I stay here? Can I take a picture of you? The light is not perfect. You know, being small is a benefit sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it's Yeah. So that I can do the. Go on then. Watch out behind you. Go on, watch out behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it. Have you been watching have you been watching the like the women here there? Which 
the girls here. Yeah. yeah. Have you been watching them do it? Yeah. yeah. With uh, <laughs> Cause they do it in I the I learned like that. Yeah. <laughs> A bit more practice and yeah. you might be able to do it. I have to practice more, yeah. yeah. I have to ask them. Yeah, yeah, ask them for help. <laughs> Another small tunnel for your practice. <laughs> Again. Oh, actually, you can stand in there. Oh, it's very good. One. He's back to death. Okay. If it's not too dark, I've got that on video. <laughs> you have a nice video and... A funny moment. This will be my intention. Yeah. <laughs> there's not much to see at this castle. It is very basic, you just walk around the grounds really, there's no inside. And it costs 27,000 to get in, which is about 5 pounds 50 or something. But yeah, it, it's alright to see, but it's not great. It was built in the 16th century and it was built to defend attacks from land and sea, which is quite cool. So it's got cannons everywhere, but it really does not a lot to do. I literally went into my hostel for like an hour to charge my phone. I've come back out and it's cloudy and thundering. So it's gonna start lashing down at any minute. But I'm still gonna show you around because it is really warm still. It's gonna be really humid with the rain but I'm walking to get some food I'm going to show you the harbour whilst I'm walking and then a bits of the town and then we're going to go get some food This is obviously not the harbour, it's actually in the park which is quite nice, it gets lit up at night to different colours but I just was walking to the park so I thought I'd show you it on the way through the harbour is literally on the other side of the park this is the harbour now, we've got ourselves a load of palm trees over here which look really nice and then the harbour and if you look over there you can see an old like pirate boat which looks really cool I seen it yesterday when we were out uh, on the boat going snorkeling I seen it like out at sea so I'm gonna walk over and have a little look at that because it looks really cool and it'll be good to show you and here's the rain which is actually really refreshing hopefully it doesn't get too heavy because of I haven't got my coat and I don't want to get really wet because it's going to be ages for these to dry with no sun. Here's the old uh, pirate boat which you can actually get tours on. It says on the sign there that you can reserve your tour which is quite cool. I wonder if it's a replica or if it's an actual like uh, boat that still survived after like 200 years be quite interesting to find out now this is one of my favorite parts of Cartagena is the old wall around the town and this big archway with the clock tower I think it's really cool and of an evening they have a uh, event here like shows where people are dancing and singing and stuff and it's just really cool to go vibe at night and it, it looks really nice similar to a good cafe there's a street that has umbrellas overhead which looks really nice now I'm just going back to the hostel, do some editing and then I'll see you again later and see what we get up to then. I'm currently stranded in a restaurant so I'm getting tea here but look how close the street is. And we have to walk home in there. Oh we're going to cinema actually to go watch four. But we have to get out in this so I think we're just going to order an Uber and hopefully we'll be able to get one because uh I've got a pasta for tea just before we go watch four and uh, I'm with I'm with, I'm with uh, Lizzie and Nat Natalia who I met in the hostel so we're gonna go watch four after we've had our food but yeah and hopefully the rain stops because it is it is horrible like they've had to put wood in front of the door to stop the water coming in we're trying to walk to the cinema and everywhere is flooded and we haven't got sliders on, we've got shoes on so we can't walk through it we're stranded here because we can't get through so we have to go back back to where we came from and try and find a different way around we're late to the, to the pictures because of all the rain, all the flooding eventually we got a taxi on the main road after walking down and loads of dead ends but luckily we'll only miss the, the adverts which is what I preferred anyway but we're here now, gonna go watch a film for like three pounds 
four pounds it's really cheap the pictures was cheaper than it was online it was 16,500 which is like three pounds 25 or something like ridiculously cheap but like so good now we're gonna get some popcorn provided it's got no magic here in which i think it probably will this popcorn is huge but it was only an extra 2,000 which is like 40 pence so you may as well just get the large all right we're going in to watch four i'll see you after it I'm back at the hostel now, four of them from those really good. For anyone who hasn't seen it yet, there's two end credit scenes, so make sure you stay. And now I'm just on the roof of my hostel, watching the lightning in the distance. I'll see if I can get some for you in a minute. But for now, that is the end of this video. Have you enjoyed it? Comment below what you enjoyed the most. Like the video as always and smash that subscribe button if you're not already. And as always, Keep exploring.